In today's video I'm gonna help you a lot if you have back problem, spine problems or you even have many other problems with this perfect natural remedy. If you uh, wait till the end of the show I'm gonna give you my special recipe that tea that can help you remove all your pain, swelling and other problems with your spine. I'm gonna recommend you something called cramp bark. Like evergreen cramp bark is another herbal remedy that naturally contains a compound called methyl salicide, which is known to have pain relief and anti-inflammatory effects. As its name suggests, cramp bark is known for relieving cramps, including those associated with premenstrual syndrome. It also has long history of use in indigenous American herbalism, including the Nepenobox tribe of Maine which has used cranberry to naturally treat gout and swollen glands. At the same time in Wisconsin, the Meskwaki tribe used this herbal remedy for the back pain, arthritis and menstrual camp. When you think about uh, cram bark, it is very well known right now all around the world and you can uh, buy it in local uh, or maybe uh, of an internet health store, special ingredients and that you can use it for the relieving this kind of purpose. All in all, it said that bark or cramps had antispasmodic, sedative, relaxant and astringent properties. Let's take a uh, closer look at this indigenous plant and it may possible had benefits. Cram bark is effective and relieving any tense muscle, whether smooth muscle in the intestines, airways or uterus, or striped muscle attached to the skeleton. In the limbs or back it may be taken internally or applied topically for relief muscle tension. For today's show I'm gonna give you a special tea that you can drink in. Also you can find capsules in the powder form or maybe in some kind of liquid uh, cream form and you can take it directly topically on your problems with your back and you will see in the very short period of time relieving your problematic symptoms. The herb also treats symptoms arising from the excess muscle tension, including breathing difficulties in asthma and menstrual pain caused by excessive contraction of the uterus. For night cramps and the back pain, lobelia is often mixed with the cramp bark. The herb also relieves constipation, colic and irritable bowel syndrome, as well as the physical symptoms of the nervous tension in some cases of the arthritis, but the joint weakness and the pain have become muscle to contract until they are most uh, rigid. Cram bark can bring remarkable relief as the max, uh, muscle relaxant, blood flow to the area improves, based products such as lactic acid are removed and the normal function can return. Right now this is very well known, uh, it's been used for uh, hundreds of e years all around the world, especially in the Northern America, but right now we have many many research studies that can tell us that this is one of the best plan, especially if you have arthritis or you have some kind of back pain problem. Cream bark is commonly used in treatment for high blood pressure and other circulatory condition. Research in vitro uh, reveals that grass cramp can block smooth muscle cramps. So it's no surprise that one of the uh, most known uses of the black cramps are traditional herbal remedy for menstrual cramps that can accompany PMS. Endometriosis is the medical disorder which the tissue that normally connects the side of the uterus grow outside in the uterus in the fruit of uh, verbenum opolus are used to treat gynecology disorder including dysmenorrhea, painful periods as well as ovarian cysts. So this is also one of the very well researched plan that can help you a lot especially women. So that means menstrual cramps, endometriosis, ovarian problems all can be helped in natural way using this bark cram. Also, according to the experts in the field, cram bark has long been used as spasmolytic or antispasmodic during pregnancy, particularly in miscarriage prevention. This use 
as a herbal remedy in pregnancy is said to back Native American tribes. Crane bark is known to be top pick for by herbalists in the United Kingdom for preventing miscarriage. Several active substances in verbenone opolus, including scopolatin and esculatin, have the label as having antispasmodic effects on the uterus. Usually, this plan uh, had so many other health benefits, but for today's show, I'm gonna recommend you if you have arthritis or you have the back kind of disease problem. What uh, kind of tea you can make uh, and drink? Crumb uh, bread uh, is traditionally prepared by placing two tablespoons of dry peel in the cup of water, bringing it to the boil and then stewing for the 10 to 15 minutes. This tea can be consumed two to three times a day for the back pain or endometriosis for 15 days in a row. Another option is four to eight milliliters of tincture three times a day. So usually I'm gonna recommend you drink this perfect tea and you will see in very short period of time that your problems will gonna go away. Also you can use tea, tincture, capsules, uh, powder or any other um, remedy that you can buy in your uh, in local healthy store. In period from 1st July until the supply lasts, I'm giving away 50% discount on the purchase of my books called Intermittent Fasting, The Secret of Health and Longevity and Miraculous Natural Remedies, Part 1. The books have been translated into Croatian, English, German and Polish and can be purchased on the internet site called mariolab.hr. Hurry up! because the quantities of booked are limited and we are selling them until supply lasts. If you want to find out what is the best vitamin that can help you a lot with your back problems, click on my video right here. I'm gonna uh, leave you a much more information about these special nutrients. Thank you for following me. See you next time. Bye bye.